Yeah. Isn't it amazing? <laughs>Welcome to Bedford Autodrome. Today we are racing four Mini Cooper S's in four very different technical specifications. Two of the hottest road going minis and two of the hottest race specification minis are going to be racing over the 1.8 mile west circuit and over three laps we should discover which is the hottest mini. The first of our four drivers is Jethro Bovingdon. He's just upgraded his Scale Electric last week, but in the 21st century, he will be a contributing editor to Evo magazine. Today, I feel honored to be part of this race. I'm looking forward to see what the old man can do. I don't mean Andy Wallace, I'm talking to you, Meaden. Marino Alessandro Cesare Franchitti, currently racing in Formula Vauxhall. In the future, he will race in the 24 hours of Le Mans and Daytona. He will also drive a Delta Wing, just wait until you see that, and he will wing the 12 hours of Sebring. This is a fast road car, but is it fast enough? Let's find out. Next up, Dickie Meaden. Last week he did a Jim Russell racing school at Brands Hatch, but in the future he will be one of the founding fathers of Evo magazine. Today I race for glory and to fulfill my destiny as the chosen one. The fourth of our drivers is Andy Wallace, international racing legend. The latest winner of the Le Mans 24 hour race last year with Silk Cut Jaguar and soon to be winner of Sebring and Daytona. Ohio Gozaimas. Simerson, Kohio Kudasai. Arigato Gozaimasta. Back into 2015, on the grid, the four cars line up. First to go will be the slowest road car, followed by the fastest road car. A few seconds later, the two race cars will leave the line together, chasing the road cars. First car to leave the line, Andy Wallace in the 2006 S Works GP Mini. Up the gearbox, second to leave the line, Marino Franchitti in the 2013 version of the Works GP car. And finally, 16 seconds later, it's going to be the two race cars that leave the line. Ah, no good start. Jethro Bovington making a complete Horlix of the start as he goes down to the first corner. Oh, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Dicky Meaden's getting excited immediately as he's on his way to chase the road cars. Come on, traction. Marino Franchitti in second place. Let's go catch Mr. Wallachi. We're trying anyway. He certainly is having a go. Now we're on board with Andy Wallace, heel and towing, down the gearbox, sliding through the S's. Wallace leads from Franchitti in second position. Come on, come on, come on, come on. On board with Dickie Meaden, he's trying to egg himself along, but the man with the most amount of work to do is Bovington. He's got 275 horsepower, a sequential gearbox, limited slip diff, and the best aero package. He has got to catch Meaden. Why is it as soon as someone says you're having a race, you overdrive? <laughs> but Meaden is overdriving. He's now got to catch the two road cars in front of him. We're on board with Frank Kitty. Whoops. He goes over the kerb, he's got Wallace in front of him, on board with Andy Wallace. No racing gloves, he is that cool. Meanwhile, the two race cars wind their way on. <laughs> All the cars are gone, one lap in. But he's really close this time. Hard on the brakes, they complete the first lap as they go once more into the hangar hairpin. Frank Kitty thinks about an opportunity, he's closing, closing on Wallace. <laughs> Have a little look up the inside here. He's got us covered. Well, Wallace, the wily old fox, if ever there was one. Back to Bov in fourth position, struggling without ABS. Road cars on each other already. Come on, baby! So can Frankiti slip through into the lead? Ooh, it's getting a bit squirrely there. It may be squirrely, but Frankiti has got his claws in. He's all over me like a rash. This is fun. I'll go and see the doctor about that, Andy. They're f fast for road cars, aren't they? Managed to just hold him off nicely. He's holding him off, but Frankiti's getting ever closer to the rear of Wallace's car. Have a look down here. He is going to have a look. Stands on the brakes, heels and toes in. Into the right-hander, now the left. Still Wallace leads. Left us a wee bit of room there. 
Meaden started 16 seconds behind, but he can now see the leading duo ahead. Come on, you little bastard. Back with the leaders, has Frankitti got past? Well, we're getting held up here. I think he's absolutely flying in that one. I think I need the road cars to hold him up a bit. On board with Andy Wallace. He's really puffing and panting as he comes up to the quick right-hander at Tower. He still leads ahead of Frank Kitty. We start the last lap. Wallace still got the advantage. Come on, Slicks. Oh, Marino's done him. No, he hasn't. On board with second place Frank Kitty. Hard on the brakes, back on the gas. Looking for the inside line. Oh, we've got him. <laughs> And there he goes. Indeed, there he does go. That now means that Frankitti leads the race. He's managed to bridge a six-second disadvantage at the start. The question is, can he stay ahead? See if we can get away now. Meanwhile, back on board with Meaden. He's through to second. <laughs> wow. Look at the way that one goes. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. We're on board with Meaden, and Frankitti ahead is going to have to use all of his race craft to stay ahead and win this race. Come on, Frank Kitty. Back on board with Frank Kitty, and he's got his mirrors full of Dickey. Dickey's right there. I'll tell you what, it's a good place to watch from. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bovington has closed up to the leading trio, but... Oh no! I've got no fuel! I'm out! I'm out! Meanwhile, Meaden is looking up on the inside, and he takes the lead of the race ahead of Frank Kitty. Even he can't believe his speed. Meaden can't quite celebrate yet. Two more corners to go. Tight to the apex, wide on the other side, completely over the rumble strip. Look how close the leading trio are as we go into the last corner. Meaden completely sideways. Smoke pouring off the tyres. The chequered flag, though, is Meaden's ahead of Frank Kitty. Yeah, he's got a sideways there. Meaden the victor in the 2008 Mini Challenge car. <laughs> Last over the line is Bovingdon. <laughs> hampered by mechanical problems all race. Oh my God. The full potential of the 2015 Mini Race car remains to be seen. Oh my God. Out of fuel. Now let's hear from the drivers. So that was our race and we should congratulate the winner. Should we? Richard Meaden. Through gritted Jeez. teeth. Well done. But I think the best part of the race looked like the two road cars. How did that go? How did it, how was it? it was I was way fun. back, so I could <laughs> I caught a glimpse of it occasionally. Every time they came round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, to lap me. <laughs> it was it was really good fun. I think the the GP1, the tires, the road tires have temp they work from the word go. Yeah. So Andy was was able to get up and away, and then as the, excuse one. As, the, as the tyres came up to temp, I, just with the GP2, I was really them in, and we had a great battle. You know, it was yeah. just hilarious. Actually, it was, it was so so funny. It was all over me like a rash, but then finally he managed to slide by. By which time, of course, Dickie was coming. I caught you up. Yeah. Yeah. It took a surprising amount of time. I to thought catch that. The road cars. Mm. I, thought, oh, not I think it's once you got tyre temp as well. You know, once your slicks got. But you see them in the distance, and you think it's, they're coming. They're coming, and then. The gap seemed to almost stabilise until you got close. And the two was definitely it was quicker than the race car from the hairpin in the straight line. Because mm. that's why I did my optimistic. Yeah, um, I saw that. I saw. I was like, <laughs> I could just see the movement. I thought he's coming, and I just it's knew all I about the turn body in the corner. Of the car, I think. So, so we turned in the corner about mm, 15, 20 meters after we normally would. But it was yeah. And then and then he spent though. and then he was showboating yeah. after that, and that was the best view in the house. I couldn't drive for laughing. Yeah, that was at good, one, that was brave. At one point, his, that was impressive, actually. Well, his front wheels were closer to me than his rear wheels at one point in the last corner. It was yeah. brilliant. It looked great from I where I was. I tell you all about my race, but... Um, How was it, Jethro? Could, could we... Yeah. It was, it was, it was like... I, I love best motoring. I'm like the biggest fan, mm. and it just turned into a nightmare. I, the the car, I have to say, the car is... It was quite hard to drive. There's no... Excuse there was no <laughs> way. They said it should be quite a lot faster than Dickie's car and I'm not convinced that it should have been. And then something went wrong, ran out of fuel, whatever it was. Talent, ability. Well, I was glad of a mechanical failure in the <laughs> end, to be honest. Um, but anyway, it was good. It was we great do, fun. We should do it again. It was a lot of fun. We should, it was fun. definitely do it again. Okay. Except we should give Dickie a slow car next time. A slow car, absolutely. definitely. I learned something today. For 
more great performance car videos, subscribe to the Evo channel.